Some people may believe dreams are only dreams. And for me, that is not really true. For me, I would say most or all of my dreams are not really dreams. I believe most or all of our dreams have a purpose. Okay. Just because you may not know the purpose or purposes of your dreams doesn't mean they don't have them doesn't mean there is no purpose in your dreams if you understand what i am trying to say <laughs> i believe there is a purpose or purposes to our dreams so you may believe your dreams are insignificant but i believe they aren't there was a person and me and that person had so many problems so many problems well some problems let me say it like that some problems maybe not so many but some some and for years I prayed and prayed for that person prayed so much for that person on and off for years not every day <laughs> not every day but on and off for years okay now things between me and that person are going so well like as if we are friends <laughs> can you believe it and i thank god for it really truly thank god for it only if you knew or saw or experienced how things were between me and that person maybe you would know what i mean anyways this morning i believe it was this morning i had a dream and i think it was a demon in the skies appearing as that person so if i remember correctly me and that person was in like a really bad conflict perhaps an argument maybe a fight but i think it was something really, really bad. Okay, I woke up. And after a while, I think something came to my mind, something like, that is the spirit of strife. Okay. So if something like that comes to your mind, what do you believe you should do? Just 
What a coincidence! <laughs> Let me not do anything about it. Let me just, you know, carry on with my day and let things be the way they are. No. I believe I prayed about it. Maybe not only once, but perhaps twice. I believe demons are trying to sow seeds of strife between me and that person again, which I believe that is how it was in the beginning. And I come against that in the name of Jesus. Look now, please listen. Now, you may think I am wrong. You may believe Uncle Kev doesn't know what he is saying. Maybe you think that, you know, I am on drugs or whatever else. Okay. If you have dreams of demons or people raping you, beating you up, doing something really harmful to you, if you have dreams of your mother or father, father getting cancer or some type of sickness, if you have negative dreams that seem evil, demonic, or whatever else, if you are eating in your dream, eating snails and whatever else, if it seems demonic, pray against it. Pray against it. Kevin, those are only dreams. They are insignificant, Kevin. Look now. Pray against those dreams. What do you have to lose? For instance, God, I had some dreams and I believe they are demonic. So if they are demonic, I come against them in the name of Jesus. If witches are trying to curse me, if demons are trying to curse me, I break down those curses in the name of Jesus. I lose protection, peace, comfort, love, everything good around me right now in the name of Jesus. I lose the blood of Jesus all around me, all around me, in my home, on my property, everywhere I go. I lose protection when I drive or when I go to work or I lose protection or what is it called? I lose safety <laughs> on my food. If witches or demonic people are trying to curse my food, I lose good things on my food. Pray like that or something similar to that. Don't allow bad dreams to happen to you and you not challenge it. Okay, like my dream. What if I chose to not challenge that dream? Hey, something came to my mind telling me it is the spirit of strife insignificant. Let me not pray about it. Let me show no concern. So if I do that, 
wouldn't I be in agreement with that dream or with that demon? Hey, I want nothing to do with no spirit of strife, lust, or whatever else like that. So pray against those dreams. Challenge them. Don't just tell your mom, hey mom, I had a dream that you died. Why would you, why would you do that? Hey dad, I had a dream you got cancer and died and you were screaming the whole time. Hey, I had a dream that my nephew went to hell and he had a horrible time. Why would you, why would you challenge it? Challenge it, pray against it. Why do you think you are having that dream for entertainment purposes? I think not. Uh, only if you knew the type of dreams I get. I think most of my dreams are extremely demonic. Or maybe I should say demonic to extremely demonic. I have to challenge them. My prayer partner, I believe that person gets demonic dreams. So I tell that person to pray against them. Look now. If you are going to fight against demons or live for God, <laughs> I think in many cases, demons are going to fight back, right? Why wouldn't they? If demons want all humans in hell, why would they leave you alone? If you are on your way to heaven, if demons want all humans in hell, why would they leave you alone? Hey, that person is on their way to heaven. Let me just get out of their lives and let them have complete peace and not bother them at all. Come on now, let me stop here.